So, welcome back to our series of uh, eye ornament mini tutorials. Today I will talk about symmetry. You see, eye ornament is all about symmetry. So whenever you draw something on screen, uh, eye ornament repeats it according to the rules of symmetry. And today I want to show you all the variations that you may get on that. So first things first, uh, if you want to access the symmetry menu, you simply press this little rosette button and then the symmetry menu pops up and uh, you see it comes with many square icons and each of these square icons corresponds to a planar symmetry group and there are exactly 17 of them and there is a reason for that number because eye ornament is ridiculously complete in that sense uh, because mathematically there are exactly 17 possible types of symmetry repetition patterns for planar symmetry groups and you can essentially go through all of them so uh, if you take the first one here it's the simplest one and here you see what i've actually drawn i've just drawn four tiny strokes and the rest here comes just from rules of repetition so you see mirror symmetries you see rotations in that picture and many other things uh, and these are the possible symmetry types you can have so the last one here is perhaps one of the most complicated ones uh, it consists of a six-fold rotation symmetry combined with a reflection axis here and you may ask well when i start my drawing here and put my uh, pen down where do i start actually and uh, depending where you put your stroke your first uh, stroke may look very very different and to get not completely lost on that uh, problem you have the possibility of activating some guidelines here so if you press this grid button here you get some guidelines indicating so-called fundamental regions a fundamental region is a region of your ornament in which no further repetition takes place so uh, within that uh, region here uh, there is no repetition and your entire ornament gets uh, composed out of many 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 different copies of that specific region and actually these regions look different for different kinds of ornaments this threefold symmetry for instance has a different fundamental cell than what we saw before there are also other pol possibilities uh, like uh, activating the full symmetry annotations and you do so by pressing this little triangle here in the menu but before I do that I want to say something about this little triangle here so in many menus here you find this little triangle and whenever you see that uh, this means that you can extend your menu and get some kind of advanced functionality if you extend the symmetry menu you get uh, for instance this possibility of doing the full symmetry annotation here so uh, each solid line here let me just switch to a different group let me take this one here each solid line corresponds to a mirror symmetry axis the uh, little polygons that you see in here correspond to rotational symmetry and indicate uh, how many repetitions you have along uh, that symmetry and the dotted lines correspond to so-called Clyde reflections and by that you have a really good control uh, of what you are doing and for instance even with the most simpler symmetry types uh, these guidelines are very useful so if you just have uh, say some reflections in your pattern you know exactly where to set down your pen uh, to start at a reflection uh, axis so one more important point many of you may be interested uh, in drawing some mandala like patterns and for that i show it again you have to press this little mandala button here and if you do so uh, you see your drawing surface has changed a little uh, everything is somehow a little bit square like and uh, if you draw here you see 
you get some kind of circular mandala uh, patterns. And also here, eye ornament is very complete. So uh, there are two types of mandalas. So with a mirror symmetry and those without a mirror symmetry. And you can change the numbers of repetitions that you get here. And uh, here is perhaps one of the drawing tips whenever you have a big number of repetitions, like say 64 here, uh, then you also need a really, really tiny pen because otherwise you don't see anything anymore. So let's take this pen here. Oh, I have it uh, without the reflection, but I'd rather refer to have the reflection in that here. And I just scribble around and you see I get a really, really, really complex pattern out of that. It may actually be interesting to see how your strokes uh, behave if you only have way less repetition. So actually, this is what I've been uh, drawing here. And uh, will I keep on doodling in that ornament for a little while? And I really recommend experiment with these features and keep on doodling. <laughs>